Hey guys and welcome back to another Sony Vegas tutorial. Today I'm going to talk about shortcuts, hotkeys inside Sony Vegas. At least the ones that I know of and the ones that I find useful. And um, the reason I want to make a video about this is because I've been using different hotkeys in, in different tutorials so far and I kind of wanted a video where you could find all the hotkeys, at least the ones that I know of and the one that I use. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get started, right? Let's get started. So uh, first of all, you have S. When you push S on your keyboard, that's to split your clip. So you see there, I just split this one clip up into two. Obviously, if you push delete, you delete one, and then you can delete the other one, right? Uh, I'm going to leave this gap because we need that for another uh, hotkey later on. Then there's a, a D on your keyboard. If you look at the mouse cursor right now, it changes. Uh, I don't know what that one is. I've never had use for it. Um, but yeah, it's probably used for something, but I haven't found a use for it at all. So I'm, I'm, I'm doubting you guys will find a use for it as well. But if you push D again, it changes again. And with this one, you can actually highlight multiple clips and the stuff like this, right? So that's uh, with D. And if you push D again, now it's a loop tool thing. I have never used that and I don't want to because I don't know what it does to the footage. Um, but yeah, it's a magnifying thing. <laughs> And D again, then it goes back to normal. Yay! Now, um, since we're in between this gap here, if you then push F on your keyboard, it kind of collapses the gap in between the clips, like that. There's another way you could have done that. Uh, I believe the, it's Control L. Uh, let me just try that out. Control L, as far as I remember, Control L. So if I had some clips in between here, let's just Set these in here again, split this one up, delete. Booyah, it just moves automatically. It just automatically moves back again, right? Uh, I'm just gonna push Control L again. I don't want that on. It's actually just up here for this one. The auto ribble, auto ribble. But yeah, um, then there's the grouping tool where you can group certain things up. So, you know, push one, Control click the other, push G, then you group them up. That means right now I've actually Group these two clips up right here, but they're not grouped up with the audio anymore. So uh, I could also just push this again and push this one again and push G. Now that's grouped up, those two. But that one's not grouped up with this one, so I hit this one and then control click the other one and G to group that one up as well. Easy mode, right? Then you can also push U to ungroup stuff. So now these two are grouped up, right? These two are grouped up. So if I push U, now they're not grouped anymore. Now I can just move this one out if I want to, or move this one out if I want to. Uh, then we can just group them up again like that. These modes, right? So G to group and U to ungroup. Now, another little handy one when you're working at least, when you're editing, if you push uh, C or set C on your keyboard, that will mute your current track. Now you can't see because that, that's what I had highlighted up here. So now you can't see that if I click down here, you'll mute the audio with C. Uh, all the shortcuts, by the way, uh, or hotkeys are listed in the description below. Um, another one is, uh, well, it's it does the opposite, kind of, right? It's uh, pushing X on your keyboard, X. Then you solo this one out. So now if I play this, if we'll actually play. Oh yeah, okay. The reason it doesn't solo, it solo, solos out this one clip here, as far as I remember. Yeah, like that. So if I had more clips, it, uh, yeah, it would just solo this one out. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that with X. Solo the clip out. And what else we got? Uh, yeah, O, if you push O on your keyboard, like that. So it creates a loop region from start till where your time marker thingy is, right? So that's with the pushing O. I'm just gonna control C that one to get that way. Oh, I actually didn't wanna do it. That's cute. We're just gonna move this one back then. 
So another one is pushing I on your keyboard. If you do that, it'll set both uh, loop region points to the, to, the, uh, to the marker right here, so like that. And then you can just stretch it however you will, like that. Uh, loop, region, loop regions are very handy for also pushing R on your keyboard to make, um, let's just call this one. So the, then it will save this loop region. So if I push here and push I again, I'll make another loop region. If I can actually grab this one, yes, like that. Push R again, and then call this one two, just like that, right? So that way I can use uh, the um, a script tool to batch render these two regions out in, in at one after the other. But R is how you do that. We're just gonna delete them again. Right click, delete, right click, Come on, right click, delete, there you go. So that's how you do that. Just looking at my list here of stuff. Uh, oh yeah, F8, F8 is to enable and disable snapping. If you don't know what snapping is, it's when it's basically wanna suck itself into this next track here. So if I have that disabled, it won't snap in here. So it'll probably, see now it starts acting all kinds of weird because I don't have snapping enabled. So F8 again, snapping, there you go, it just snaps right in there. And it actually shows you by highlighting with extra blue stuff in the middle. You know, kind of like blue mustard in a sandwich. That doesn't make sense and I don't get the reference. Okay, so uh, <laughs> uh, what else we got? We got space to start playing. There you go, right? Actually, let me turn this down. No, it doesn't matter. We're not going to play anymore. Yeah, we are. One more. So space is to play. And then space again to go back to your previous point, right? But if you then push um, enter instead, you play. And then you pause it. So you pause it. You can push enter again and pause it. It won't go back. The footage in the background, by the way, is Aliens vs. Predator. It's from one of my Let's Plays. Uh, but yeah, so, so it doesn't go back to its previous point. It just stops where you want it to stop. So space to play and st go back to the point it was at to, the be to begin with and enter to play and pause, okay? Then you can uh, control Q to add a um, audio track. And then control shift Q to add a video track. Now you can also right click and make them, but when you have multiple tracks, let's say like this, you don't want to scroll down on all kinds of stuff to, to go down here and click. You can also click here, I think, and just say you want, no, you can't. You can click out here, I think. You can click in here and say you want to do it. No, you cannot. So it, it comes handy when you have a lot of tracks. If you hold down control, by the way, that's another hotkey for going up and down in your tracks and then control shift, you go like multiple frames instead of just going a couple uh, back and forth. Control, alt and shift will go one frame at a time with your scroll wheel, okay? So control, up and down in the tracks. Control shift, multiple frames when you use your scroll wheel. Control, alt and shift, one frame at a time when you scroll your mouse wheel, right? If I scroll a lot, obviously it'll scroll multiple frames, but if just, if you just do it ever so slightly, it'll only take a frame at a time. Um, we covered that. Then there, I'm just gonna delete all these tracks again. Delete track, right click, delete track. What the, can I just click on it and push delete? I think I can. There we go, back to normal, awesome. And then you have for uh, audio, very awesome, few hotkeys that I have, uh, pushing V, as a volume thing. So if you zoom in and you double click like that, go over here, double click there, then you can turn down the volume over time, right? Very handy, very handy stuff. So you turn, actually you can't hear that. I can actually turn it all the way down. See like that, these modes, right? So uh, that's with V but you have to click the audio track to do it, right? Uh, just move, remove it again. And then there's, uh, which one is that? That's P. If you push P, 
I never use this one, but it's it, it could it might come handy for you guys. If you push P, it adds a red line. It's hard to tell. It adds a red line instead of the blue one. If you double click on that, make another one here. You can pan the um, audio from one side to the other. So I'm going to just put one down here in the middle and do it like that. And then play it from here. And like that. And then enter to, you know, stop where you want it to stop. Um, but yeah, it could come handy with a certain effect in a montage video, I guess, right? You know, do, do something to the music and, and do that. That could come handy. I might actually get use of this at some point for, for a montage. But um, but yeah, guys, that's about it. That's that's the hotkeys that, I've, that I normally use. I don't use any other hotkeys than this when I'm editing. And uh, I hope you guys find this useful. I'm sorry, sorry the video is a little long, but I really wanted this video to come out just, you know, to have all the hotkeys, uh, shortcuts or whatever we call it, in one video up on the channel so you guys can just find it super easy and like i said all of these hotkeys are listed in the description below so you can go down there and just copy paste it over to a document and have it saved and then you know all the hotkeys and after a little while you can remember them and then um, it's all fine dandy right awesome but yeah if you like the video guys please thumb it up and share it with your friends because that helps me out so much and uh, take care, have fun, and see you all in the next one.